This is Reverend Ronnie James, and uh, today I'm going to talk about a little bit about Jesus. You know, we we understand what the stories have told us, you know, but you know, if you really read the Bible, you know, Jesus was predicted in the book of Genesis after Adam and Eve sinned, and if you read throughout the stories of the Bible that uh, Jesus was prophesied. And it amazes me, you know, when Jesus was born that, uh, you know, they really didn't believe or they didn't want to accept who he was. And, you know, when he started preaching and healing people and all that, you know, there was a lot of them that believed, but then when the trials of Romans trying to prosecute them, they, they would scatter and run. And those that were in Jerusalem, the Pharisees and Sadducees, you know, they knew he was the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody could sit there and heal somebody and cast demons out and raise the dead and much more that they knew that he was the Lord and Jesus Christ. And how much more today are we believing? We, we accept it, but, you know, do we believe in our hearts? I believe that as we grow as Christians in our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and fellowship and going to church and, and uh, worship the Lord Jesus Christ every Sunday and Bible studies on Wednesday nights, that we grow in our faith. But, you know, it's a hindrance when people that do come in that like to stir up gossip, rumors, it, it, it puts a damper in the church, you know, and that's wrong. You know, when you meet somebody like that, you need to just, you know, pray for them, ask them why they're doing what they're doing. Do they believe in Jesus Christ? Have they accepted him in their lives? Let's just go in the Lord in prayer right now and ask him for his guidance. Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that lives in us, I ask that you just strengthen us and guide us through your wisdom and not our own wisdom, that we we grow in our faith in you, Lord, that those that are, are in the church, that they cause a lot of uh, havoc, you know, that we just pray with them and set them down and say, hey, you know, have you really accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? You know, I pray for all also for the, the sick, you know, that you just heal them, Lord. That you just guide their families in believing in you, that you will take care of all things. In your holy and precious name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen.